Oh, oh, oh. my hair. All right. Well, we got to build a tank top for my saltwater tank because we're getting an eel today. Big deal. Box. 24 by 18 by 18. But normally we're not we're not right during this yeah, situation. Yeah, we're not like the type of people we like to measure once and cut 40 times. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I said I can't ever turn on the light for you because it just shines right back at me. So seriously, now <laughs> not, now not only does Brenton make fun of my bald head, but his cameraman is too. I looked at the comments in the last video, a lot of people were telling me not to get an eel. So if you do a little bit of research on a snowflake eel, if you do a little bit of research on a snowflake eel, you can keep smaller ones in tanks any size above 20 gallons. Mine's a 30 gallon, and this is a really tiny eel. You can also keep them in community tanks. Keep this in mind, you can keep them in community tanks if they can't get their mouth around the other fish in there. My fish, my fish are all big enough to where this eel can't eat it. And just so you guys know, we're gonna go talk to somebody who's been in the aquarium business for 20 plus years. Hey! So it's down there, if you guys, I don't know how big it looks on camera, you can't see it too well, but it's a little bit bigger than a pencil. Actually, no, I think I think they said yesterday it's about the size of a pencil, a little bit longer maybe, but its mouth, it cannot get its mouth over some of the fish. And of course, this thing is gonna grow. So what am I gonna do when it grows? If I don't have another bigger saltwater tank by that time, I can bring it back here. But I just wanna know what it's like to own one of these. Like my flower horn, it's in a small tank, but once it grows out, I'm putting it into a bigger one, but I wanted to know what it would be like to own it. So same concept with the eel, if it ever gets too big and I say I don't have a saltwater tank, I can bring it right back here I give it to one of Sean's tanks I got a lot of people who've got some really healthy saltwater tanks for this eel to be rehomed into but I promise it's not gonna eat any of my fish yeah yeah I had a snowflake in a 60 gallon cube reef tank for a lot of years for about seven or eight years I had him in there before I gave him to a friend of mine with a bigger tank okay. I didn't eat anything or anything like that no no I never had a problem keeping him ruining any fish um, or invertebrates uh, I even had photos of my cleaner shrimp inside of his mouth feeding his teeth um, they're just a little bit clumsy they get a little bit clumsy and they're a little bit big so all right oh yeah we got an acrylic top it's, oh, nice. it's they had a they had one at Lowe's that's the exact same size at the top of the tank oh nice and it's really heavy too nice so I made it easy it's perfect yeah. Did you guys sell the other one? We did, yeah. Like not long after you left, actually. Like oh. krill, silver sides. How often do you think I should feed them? Uh, about twice a week. And you'll notice when he starts getting hungry, you know, instead of hiding in his cave that he always hides in, he'll, he'll start starts. cruising around looking everywhere for it. So these are silver sides, which is pretty much just a little fish. This is what I'll feed this snowflake eel. I feed them about twice a week. You can kind of tell when they're getting hungry because we'll come out and adventure. So this is the quarantine room. We've never been back here. All of these saltwater fish are quarantined for two weeks before we actually put them on the shelf for people to buy. This side is anti-parasitic medications. This side is antibacterials. We have a uh, Eastern Diamondback rattlefish. Wow. And what? If it's an East, it's an. <laughs> Eastern Diamondback Rattlefish. We're gonna go now. <laughs> oh my god. Look, look at that dad. Like I always say, Aqua Studios is the move, and hopefully, all goes well with this eel. Okay, so, pretty much we got our South American Rattlefish here. And it's it's doing pretty good. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit bigger than the pencil. It's about as about as thick as a pencil. A little bit longer. Here's our acrylic top. This fits the tank. When I say perfect, I mean perfect. Obviously, it's hanging over this edge a little bit, and that's because of the light. So we got to cut a little notch around the light. So we've got to cut. We got to take this little lining off, so it's crystal clear and really nice. This is heavy. The eel can't even push this up. It takes some weight to even get this thing up. If it did, it would crush the eel. Like it can't get through this. But yeah, now this is going to be perfect. So what I'm going to do is get our little plastic cutter. We're going to cut around this little light right back here, so we can push this all the way to the back. Okay. This is a little plastic cutter. Hopefully, this will do the job. <sighs> Oh, you just went 
there. We did it! Oh! Duck! I'll see how it's fit. Oh, I think we made it just the hole. <laughs> nope. We're gonna have to make something for the for the cable. Okay. So we just need to make something for the cables. You need the, the saw. Okay, we've got our eel. We're gonna acclimate it while we're doing this. We might as well, because it's gotta acclimate just like your average fish would. But man, it'll dig a little hole inside the actual coral, but it should not be able to eat any of these fish, considering it's still small. I don't know whether the camera makes it look smaller or bigger, I'm not entirely sure, but it's only about this big, as thick as a pencil. So, and, the, and its mouth is super tiny. It cannot eat anything right now, at least for quite some time. But once it grows bigger, as long as we have another saltwater tank, we'll throw it on there. We don't, you know, we'll give it somewhere, we'll give it back to Aqua Studios, but we will have learned how to take care of a snowflake eel. Okay. Look at this father-son bonding. In case you haven't watched my last video, I said in the intro of my video, I said working with Brenton is very much like, what did I say, Brenton? Oh. Nailing jello to a wall. Which you can do, I tried, I tried that yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's, yeah, definitely hard to work with this kid. I mean, look at this. Look what he's done. I mean, <laughs> like literally. You get a dog? Hey, you got some on your face, man. Come here. Oh, what's that? What? Oh, I don't know what that was. Okay. Good job, Brenton. Well, it's been a really long time. I think it's now time to let the eel in. Like, well, yeah. <laughs> it's like so long you've grown a handlebar mustache. Hi. Uh, and now we're going to place the Eastern Diamondback Rattlefish into the tank. By hand, actually. Grab him. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Look, he's like, I'm going to attack a fish. today's video I can't stress this enough um, I'm gonna of course watch over the eel make sure it doesn't eat my other fish but coming from somebody who's been in the aquatic industry for over 20 plus years and he's had like the same situation of course when this grows bigger I'm pretty sure we'll have another saltwater tank by then if not we might even have a, a house I don't know but no, we've got a bunch of stuff going on but I did want to say hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video Chris's channel is gonna be linked in the description his content is much funnier than mine Oh, as you can tell, probably. But yeah, no, we had a blast. If you guys have any videos, ideas, or suggestions, comment them down below. My ducks are chilling in the waterfall. I need something to get them to not chill in the waterfall. You almost took me my ear off. Well, if you guys have yet to like this video, make sure to click the like button. Follow me on Instagram at fnatic.media. And like I do this almost every video, if you guys can have any creature that's not like a fish, it, whether it's a turtle, an eel, anything like that, an octopus, any aquatic animal that's not a fish, what would it be? This, this dog. It's not an aquatic animal, but it'll swim. It'll swim. With all that being said, I will catch you guys next time on that next episode of Fanatic. Peace.